Hey everybody, it's Cinnamon Cooney, your art sherpa, and today I'm going to show you how you can paint this gorgeous winter landscape with this beautiful white horse running through the snow. Now this is, I have done horses at winter a lot. Uh, so this is almost now a collection. I do have a playlist of that and I even have an old Christmas stallion we did years back uh, on black canvas coming out with all decorated up. So it was super fun. Um, and so this is just another great one in the series. I love doing this. Um, on the mic is my husband, John. Hello. I'm going to break down everything I do step by step. I'm going to explain to you what it is, why it is, how it is, so that you not only can duplicate it and follow along at home, but you kind of understand why I'm making the choices that I am making. Why? Why? Why do why? you do what you do? It's like, guys, I'm paying attention here because I want to know why, too. <laughs> He's being so silly. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to demonstrate and explain some things about the traceable, sort of based on um, some questions I've been getting lately in my inbox. I think it'd be just the easiest way to answer it for a lot of people. Um, these are on the website, and you can download them and transfer them on. But I just want to talk about it a little bit because I'm going to do it without Cero paper. I've been getting people asking me, like, I can't afford Cero paper. I have a printer, but I just can't do that other step. So, you know, how would I do that? We have a video about it, but I find sometimes in a live lesson, if we go over it together, we do a little better. I'm going to explain my materials. I'm going to explain my tools and also the why of those. And at the end of this, as we go through the step by step, we're going to have a painting of a horse in a winter landscape. But here's the caveat to that, the rule or the guideline or however you want to put it, which is that you're not a Xerox machine and I'm not a Xerox machine. I don't even perfectly copy myself from painting session to painting session. And just, you know, like talking and painting, it's a challenging thing. <laughs> it's much harder than talking walking and chewing bubble gum. I will say that. So, uh, you know, it just changes everything every time. And if I don't put that expectation on myself, I just don't want you to because it'll, it'll suck all the joy out of your painting time. And we do this for fun, right? Oh, it's so good to see everybody in chat today. Um, I'm real excited. Are you ready to throw us up on materials? Sir? I probably, oh, I, I could slide over here. I feel go, like button, maybe button, I could button, go button. over materials. Oh man. You know what I have to do? Make me I small. To, I have to. So small? Load things into the graphics I can machine. Be so small. And make <gasps> Heather you small. C, thank you so much. We really, 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 really oh, appreciate thank you, the support. Heather. You know, guys, we are so grateful to be here. You guys make it possible for us doing this, and like, I'm so grateful every day. I fight, fight, fight to be here. I love doing it. We will stay at it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> kind of excited today. All right, materials. Uh, sure. I have a, pr a traceable printed out, taped down. Um, it has got graphite on the backside, and we'll go over this specifically in our first step. I'm on an 11 by 14 canvas. This is low tack tape. I like that, or painter's tape, because it doesn't uh, mess with my canvas or ever pull up paint. And so that's something I really like. Everybody's having a Heather party, because Heather has been very generous today. I have the colors cadmium red, cad yellow. We only need a little bit. Hue will be fine. There's not a lot of red in this. It's just about catching these gold, kind of luminous reflections coming up from the snow. Quinacridone magenta. I never know where I'm going to need it, but I like to have it on the palette because it makes purple and all these nice colors and it kind of tames down my cad red. Ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, phthalo green, phthalo blue, burnt sienna. This is zinc white. Zinc white is transparent. I like it for this type of landscape. You don't have to have it. You just may really enjoy it. Titanium white. I also probably will be using some of this satin glazing liquid. That slows down the drying time of my paint. And I've already noticed this morning that my palette dried out real quickly. So at, with the heaters, what it is, is I'm running heaters in the house right now. And uh, it dries out your paint fast. It really do. All right. This is quite a scene. This looks like the post I just put up on my on my Facebook page, John. Yeah. Yeah. I learned, uh, so apparently in Mongolia, yeah. they have been getting cold. It, it did look it's chilly. Too cold. It looked a little chilly. Too cold. <laughs> I was, like, cool. I was like, we were all like, okay, like full candor. I'm bad at converting C to F. Like I had Although, to finally go to Google. I did the math wrong at first, but it was still almost as bad. Oh yeah. You mean Celsius to Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you know what was, I thought was actually really beautiful though, hmm. was all of the ice and snow and how everyone really um, 
it leaned into the ice on the eyebrows. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was like epically cool. It was, it was epically like, cool. Huh? I don't know. It was a choice for them. But no, but they it did. Just, they leaned in and I loved it. it so if cool. you were watching that on my personal page, it, it, this definitely is reminiscent. <gasps> Jerry, thank you. Much love and light to Team Sherpa. Thank you guys so much. All right. Step one. Step one is really always about how we get our image onto the canvas and when we do. Now, sometimes I do an acrylic ground first, but today I'm not going to do that. The first step I'm going to do is to get my image onto the canvas. Now, I have a lot of choices. I can freehand. And when you have a lot of drawing skill, uh, and you've seen me do this live before, you know it can be done. You can just freehand it right in there. But the problem is, is if you make mistakes, now you're racing, you're changing your mind. It's imprecise, right? Sometimes if your drawing skills are not tight yet, keep working on them because it's a super fun activity. And honestly, pencil and paper is cheap in these times. It's good. It's a great way to get some art experience out. Um, but, you know, that's one way. Gridding is another way, which I've introduced. Projection. Uh, you can use an app that that makes it look like my line traceables on your canvas while you trace over it you can use serial paper or today you can do a printout which i provided for free on the website and what you will do is you will rub the back side of this three directions at least with a regular pencil you go across and then you kind of go up and down sometimes it's nice to come back at an angle back over you can't have too much graphite on there and then you're going to want to position your uh, image on the canvas where you'd like it placed. I've already gotten some CAD there for some reason. And then very carefully trace over the lines. So this is just the pencil method. I'm not using the Serral paper. Now I love the Serral transfer paper, but again, I get it. Things costs are crazy now. Life is crazy now. But if you need it, it comes in um, all of these. They have um, non-photographic and they let you know on like which one is for art and they do things for wood for everything so that's like what their company is about they don't pay me they don't even know me I haven't even met them at any of the art shows I've gone to which is really saying something because I've met a lot of art material makers and I haven't even met them so that's how little bias I could possibly have besides that I like that however I do get that there are costs involved this is my stick low tack tape transfer over it and get it on and what I want to have is a light line drawing on my canvas this is going to let me know where my horse is it's going to do the heavy lifting of my shape and everything in there um oh my goodness I love the Star Wars how are you says Grace Porter <laughs> I love Star Wars <laughs> sorry if you say Star Wars on the chat it's going to like give me stun locked and I'm going to be like what what is there Jedi news what's happened <laughs> where are we in the force how you doing today, babe? All right. So now once I've got this line on yeah. here, I'm going to kind of paint around with a blue gray carefully. Um, that means that I will use a brush. I have some control over around the horse and then a bigger one outside of the horse. So let's get maybe my three quarter inch angle by Princeton, right? This catalyst brush. It's by Princeton. I'm going to go ahead and get my brush a little bit wet. Have my blue. Let's smidge a little uh, burnt sienna there. And a little more water. And I just kind of am going to work this color all around my canvas. It doesn't need to be deep. And I'm not going to paint where my horse is. You can see I'm sort of painting around that carefully. This is possible on this. Well, it's actually always possible. But this is good for this one because it allows us to get our animal in clearly and then paint our background and that'll make it easier for us sometimes you just have to make it easier for yourself i want to thank everybody for the support in you know check your inbox i sent out newsletters so as long as your spam filter did not get it you have a newsletter um, and there's some great announcements uh we're going to be live on christmas day at one o'clock and i'm repainting the color purple um, because that's the re-premiere that Oprah is putting out. And I have long wanted to redo that one painting. Um, so I'm going to do it. And we're going to be live with you guys. And then after us, uh, my mom is going to go live. And this is like maybe you're home and you need a little break uh, from family time. Or maybe you are far from family and friends right now and you need a little company. Well, we're there.
So you come on to our live show. You come chat. We're going to have a good time. We're going to repaint the color purple. And after I'm done, my mom's going to go live. So you can just have company the whole day. You don't have to white knuckle through this year. And I know what that's like. I have been white knuckling through my own mental health challenges about the last year and a half. So <laughs> it's not fun, my friends, to, to just try to power through by sheer willpower. No. No. It takes. Takes a lot. <laughs> yeah. It takes a lot. But you just keep going and you try to turn... Um, hardships into positives uh we have a really fun thing going on if you're in the ann arbor area um maybe while i'm painting the rest of this can you explain the ann arbor event just mm -hmm. in case you're in michigan you're in the ann arbor area and this would help you i'll let john tell you about what we're doing uh sure um starting tomorrow at noon uh at the ann arbor uh, let's see here. It's the Northside Associated 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 Ministries. Uh, they're a non-denominational faith organization that welcomes, uh, you know, everyone. Uh, everyone. Everyone. And uh, they're so, an everybody come sit at the table and be in the light kind of group, and we love that. Yeah. So they let us use their parking lot, and we have, um, which is really nice. We're not we're not even members. We have friends that are there, but we ourselves are not even members. Yeah. And they reached out to help us like this, which we so appreciate. Yeah. And so we had we had a we have a lot of um, overstock art supplies. And so we uh, we we're gonna arrange to give away uh, some some really nice Fabriano white white uh, paper, and uh, some Creative Color uh, Artist Studio pencils. Uh, we have watercolor pencils and colored pencils, um, and we're gonna we have a lot of sets of those. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna give those away uh, until everybody has uh, art supplies, and for the kids. Yeah, it's it's for, it's it, for kids. It, you know, it's. And here's the thing is, I Look, think if it's, you guys it's, come by, we're not gonna. It, it really is. It's for everybody who needs a gift. Yeah, if you just need um, one, just come by. Yeah, it's our our goal here is to help the people who are in need. And if you're in need, we're not gonna turn you. Because you guys have helped us when we yeah. were in need. We we took a really hard financial hit a couple years back. We got really messed over in a way I don't. I still can't vocalize. And on top of that, while that happened, we then found ourselves having to buy quite a lot of art supplies we were not planning on buying. And then on top of that car, like you saw the car got, it was like thing after thing then, after thing after and thing. And then there was a war in Europe that's the, the fall. Yeah, <laughs> war in Europe. You there was know, our, so many things. So many things. Like we literally have to script explaining what happened okay, to well, Ireland. Hold on a second. Before we go ahead. You just picked up some color. What are you doing there? I am still just doing ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Why are you adding the burnt sienna on the back there? Well, you just you added some, some. Oh, I just ended up being mixed darker. It wasn't oh, okay. specifically any reason. There wasn't a reason you made it darker over there. No, everyone's gonna it be just... like, how come it went darker over there? Nah, I think because I got too much burnt sienna. Okay, just want to make sure you're just generally giving it a background. Color I am color. just giving it this general blue gray background. It can okay. be a little brown. It can be a little blue. We just need to get some paint on here. Right. Sure. So that's all we're doing. That's a good question. Thank you for asking. But yeah, no, we've, uh... Now, if so, you really are unsure on how horses' legs work, you'll want to keep the tracing lines very pristine. But if you know, you don't have to. Yeah, and if you want more information on how to come participate tomorrow at noon, uh, I have. Well, wait, I have it day, on my page. There's a link. Yeah, the, the on the Facebook uh, Art Sherpa page, Art Sherpa page, and, and group, and my personal page. Yes, yeah, so there's and if and you in the newsletter support at theartsherpa.com will help you get the information. And, uh, yeah. And Laura asks, no more Ireland plans? Nope, we definitely have Ireland plans. They're just like in hold until yeah. we find out more what's going on in Europe. That's yeah, and, and we have to bounce back financially. We, we, uh, we, we it trusted is. the wrong people. And so it just didn't work out for us. And so we also have to bounce back from that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that weird moment and we're going to take this weird situation with our art supplies. Yep. And what we do when we get hurt, I mean, I'm creative. I could get dark about it, but I don't want to. <laughs> so what I'm gonna, what we're going to do, what we decided would make us feel better this year is to give back to mm -hmm. help somebody else. The way, the way you know, we all want to be helped. Yeah. So that's yeah. how we've decided to heal ourselves. I think it's going to work. I think it is working. I think it is working. It was such a good idea. When John told me, I just burst into tears. I was so touched. All right. We have a wonderfully messy little blue-gray background around 
or horsey horse. Horsey horse. And that is going to give us some nice architecture to build paint layers up on and to start creating this landscape out. Okay. Hmm. Jennifer says, hello from Ohio. I'm lurking here, but to say it's all awesome, you're giving away art supplies. Uh, you're a little bit uh, further north in my area. Yeah. And I, so like, it's so, we didn't know there was like a football rivalry and all that stuff going on. And uh, uh, Honey's um, partner is in Ohio, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So he, he comes up on and occasion. We, we now get to have Ohio Michigan rivalry stuff. So we can But like, not with our shirt bets. I just want you to know like we'll have it around the football team. But yeah, no, we, I, we will not do it with We our don't shirt know bets. sports stuff. So this yeah, is sports. we're just learning we're learning. We're learning. We're integrating into the local community where we find that it is a part of it where they have a friendly ongoing rivalry with Ohio. Mm hmm Like they have billboards to each other. Yeah. It's, it's it's interesting. <laughs> We're like, what? we come from Texas. We're like, the whole thing is don't mess with Texas. Right. So, but there's, there's inner, there's interstate some football, stuff, right? Yeah. Like that Longhorns versus A&M, all LSU, that was super, yeah. but we never like, we were like, ah, oh, go sports. We yeah. just like, wherever just, we were like sports. Yeah. We're Jafranco level of sports enthusiasts. Right. We have well, that no, shirt. He's sports. super sporty. You, you dry. He You're is. dry. Yes, we, 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 like, I like sports that have octane ratings, like, and, like, cars, and, like, uh, like, F1, and rally cars, mostly rally cars, you know, Group B, crazy stuff from the 80s, <laughs> love the turbos, anyway, um, dry, dry, dry your surface, make sure it's thoroughly dry, and... That's so that when you paint the next layer, it doesn't pick up. It actually, you don't want it to um, to lift. So it's really kind of important to get it thoroughly dry between here and the next step. It just will help make sure that it goes. And that's a it's a function of acrylic paint. Um, don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe button, and do all those kind of fun things because there's little humany things that let the little algorithms know that we are here doing things <laughs> together. <laughs> oh, I gotta switch. Uh, I gotta switch my. I have one printed out, but I want to switch here. On my iPad. How is it going? I see that Heather C is welcome to Hope Healer. Hope Healer, thank you for coming in. I'm going to pull a new one in. Are you ready for your next step? You know, I, I never know if I'm ready for my next step. You know what I'm saying? I do. I never know, but I am. So let's do it. <laughs> step two. I may stay in my same brush because we're sort of laying out background. Now look, here's a fun thing about acrylic paintings. Uh, they can be messy. They can be really messy. There, There is a time in oils where you can be messy, and there's a time in acrylics where you can be messy. Watercolor is a little tough to be messy. But acrylic, pretty doable. Now I'm going to come up to about here. I'm going to take just my burnt sienna, and I am going to kind of arc a little bit down, but not completely down. It's an arc. We're just arcing it. And we may want to continue there. And that gives us space for the landscape that's in our background and our foreground. I'm going to rinse that out. So is, is this meta commentary on the flat earth versus round earth discussion? I have no commentary okay. on flat earth. I, I, I got... I'm just giving Some you a people time. just do themselves too much. Flat just... earth is just <laughs> stop doing you for a second and think about it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not in charge of everybody, so I never worry. Now, I'm going to make a nice light background, and how I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of my cad yellow and a little bit of my yellow ochre, and it gives me a bit of a half tone here that I can work with. Now, I'm going to take my brush, kind of wipe it off. I don't want too much pigment in it, using my glazing medium. And you can see I can get it right there pretty easily. First layer I'm just putting down. I'm just kind of in a good but weird space today. I'm going to come over and get a little more gold this way. If I go towards the side, maybe a little more gold. I know I'll be coming back with the brown, but... And then kind of bringing that down into a V. So we're starting to create the light that's in the distance. It needs to be soft and out of focus, which is why you see me sort of blending it out and softening it. And I will be coming back through. 
I think with one of my oval mops because it will do a better job of what I'm trying to do here. Mm. So I'm going to grab one of my oval mops and oval mop. I think this one is good, cleaned. This is the three quarter inch. You could use the one inch. It would not be a problem. I'm going to take a little bit of my glazing medium and my ultramarine blue and a smidge, maybe even a little quin and start to put in a very dark shaded area. I'm going to pull it up. I like these brushes because they uh, let me do blending very easily and I like the glazing medium because it slows down the drying time of the paint enough for you guys to be able to catch up with your paint. Because <laughs> sometimes it dries on you so fast that y'all are really struggling to get your blends in. And bringing that up. So it's slightly purple. A little more brown as I can come up. Over here on the side. Now I'm going to be very soft with my brush and very delicate and imply a diffused oh. background. Cutley, thank you so much. Thank you. Wishing all peace and comfort for the holiday. Thank you so much. I really wish that for everyone as well. Very much. Very, very, very much. I am just wanting and, everyone and to be okay. Did you see kind of killed? I did not. I see, I'm I grabbing a little up. bit of my gold and working it in. And if you can read that for me while I'm doing this because I need to kind of smooge it together. Kind of Clint, Clintworth? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Kinda? Kinda. Clint oh, there we go. Why? I yeah. have the wrong glasses on. <laughs> Me too. They're on the top of my head too. <laughs> Thank you, Kinda. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You guys are so nice. I we want you to you guys know. I chat here together. That um, tomorrow, as we're doing our, like, project two, that, you know, we see that as you with us doing that. That we're not, I was saying to John the other day, like, what y'all might not understand is we're, we're not like Mr. Beast, who's a very big YouTuber. Um, YouTube is a weird space where, you know, it's not all equal. Like, a little art channel like mine per 1,000 views gets paid very little in AdSense. So when you see someone like Mr. Beast who's, like, super rich and can give away, like, millions of dollars in charity off of his AdSense, that's because he gets, he gets them good dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, art's kind of over here, maybe not in such a big money space, which I don't really care about. But we still can give back. We can still... Be part of that, but I could only do that with the support of you guys. So know that that's you guys doing it too with us. Yeah. You know, because you guys have that going. You know what I color I forgot to put out? What'd you forget? Black. <gasps> I know. I'm going to put some just brown over here for right now over the blue. Come back into my blue. And you can see we start getting into our diffuse backgrounds fairly easily and quickly. Oh, Renata! Hello! Renata from Poland. Hi, Renata. I hope oh, wow. you are doing good today. Oh my gosh, you guys have so many amazing artists. There's, yeah. So many. So many. I do a lot of Etsy shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and I am inspired all the time. Oh, Leanne. Oh, well, I might be saying this wrong. L I think it's Leanne Quis Quiznow. Thank you so much. And if ever I get that wrong, no, that's me, not you. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to get a little more into my white. I'm going to come over into this light color over here. And right now we're just going to kind of create two zones. Not all the specifics in each zone, but this sort of idea that there's a lighter foreground in a distant wooded area. So you can see why I was like, mm, don't have to be too worried at first. It can be messy. And I can even diffuse this line here a little bit.
Now, while the the varnish is not the varnish, the glazy medium is wet. What happens is that it's very shiny. It can be a little hard to see on camera. As soon as it dries matte, though, you'll be there. And we also do a thing where we take step by step photos during the class and we kind of have little instructions that go with them. You can get those weeks later off of the website um, and then that helps too. Mm -hmm. And then we also put those timestamps into the video so you can find yourself again. Find where you were, you know? And you can see pretty quickly Winter paintings tend to be very monochromatic. Um, I like it when there's color in them like this, where we're not like relying on a sunset and everything, where you're somehow kind of just playing with color theory to get these little pops in. Mm. It's just a lot of fun. And you can see even if I go over my legs, it's still like so transparent, it doesn't take out that information. Isn't that lovely? No more of this right here. little blue and burnt sienna. I just kind of tap and move the brush. I sometimes will let the brush imply leaves and things. It can do that. Even in the background, these will feel like distant foliage. Angela, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you, Angela. I hope everything is good in your world. Okay, I'm going to dry everything and then You're we'll continue on. Thoroughly dry. And. Okay, so I just. We're going to probably, some of you probably just saw an ad and we try to make sure that the ads come at these drying breaks because when we hit the ad button at the drying break, it creates a little timer that says YouTube shouldn't insert another ad for a minimum amount of time, which means that you should be able to watch a fair amount of uh, like teaching before another ad pops up because we can, they will pop up whether we like it or not. But if we do it this way, then we can at least control sort of when they happen. So... Hopefully, um, you know, this will, uh, the, they don't run too long. So generally by the time we're done yappy, yappy, yapping, it's all done doing anyway. And everyone's back and we can kind of go about our business anyway. Yeah. So. Um, as you do. As, as you do. As we do. Oh, thank you, Angela Maxwell again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's the sec two of those. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. They you know, it's, it, it reminds me of that. Better off dead. <laughs> I think that Angela knows that. So we, we that's a long time running joke on the channel is if you ever saw the movie Better Off Dead with John John Cusack, there's a bit where the kid's collecting the um paper money. He's like, two dollars. I want my two dollars. And the kid can do all the runs that all the like cool people are supposed to be special for doing. The kid's like doing them like they're nothing on his bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's really rather funny. <laughs> and we all know a kid like that that's got that kind of hustle young. Okay, let's start putting in some more detail and some more thought and effect in here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to grab a I will start with this filbert. This is a Raphael Precision filbert. It's a number eight. You could use a round or bright or an angle. I just want to start creating some twiggly bits. So first, I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little of my ultramarine blue. Get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Just putting in little branches and twigs, just little strokes. And we can talk a little bit about what makes those work. All right. When I'm coming in, if I press hard at the beginning of my stroke and then it, it tapers and lightens as I go up, that will help its appearance of tree. Need a little more water to make it work on the paper. Then I can very easily, even with this brush, 
come out making little tree type shapes and you can see it's not particularly a struggle to get there to get that it's just trying to remember you know how to build out your little branches amy's like amy knows it and oh, we just rewatched it with the kids recently Oh, and we had a really fun kind of reckoning. So uh, my eldest finally watched the movie, which was the tiebreaker for their namesake, which, yes, it was Pulp Fiction. It was a different time. And so <laughs> they watched it. And they were like, they better be a good person because I'm not going to feel good about it. <laughs> it was really funny. We just all watched it together. And then they came away and they were like, okay, yeah, that's all right. She's kind of amazing. So we've been having a lot of fun with the kids this whole season. I hope you are too. I hope everything is good in your world. I like to just put, even though I'm going to put other elements in, sometimes putting distant. Oh, Mary Myers, thank you so much. How are you doing, Mary? All good, I hope, in your world. Thank All you, good. Mary. Thank you very much. Think about you guys a lot. Now, the thing to remember is that you can put in little twigs and you put in little stuff, but that doesn't mean that you can't come back through, right? Paint out and paint back in. So you're not stuck anywhere. Now I'm going to start putting in some of this distant plant and deadfall. Just starting to think about the deadfall. Oh, Brandy says, I can't wait to watch this video. I'm coming in late uh, or you're finishing up the live stream, but I'm still going to watch it anyways. Not that late. I've been starting earlier because I find that I'm a better teacher earlier in the day. And being later was really more about listening to the algorithm and <laughs> which is probably right. <laughs> but I just I do a better class and I'm like, I have more energy and I'm, I'm more popped up like, yeah, on Christmas, we're going to start at one because you know, kids obviously come first, but uh, most of the time I've been kind of going earlier t just to see if I'm doing better at that time range. You can see how just making really irregular marks, and let me show you on white what I mean by irregular marks, because I think it's oh kind of different than you might think. See how I'm doing these? These create little shadows that I can play with on the deadfall. It can be even very non-specific with it and you can see even when i put them there it starts to create shadows valerie apo thank you so much and you guys make my life better thank you i would not have survived this year without y'all for real i am gonna be coming in adding a little more light here we'll go ahead and we'll call it a different step so the techniques are separated out you step me oh yeah Oh, you go over here and I hit the... No, no, it's okay. Push okay. your forward. All right. Now, I'm going to come into my glazing chat. medium again, kind of loading that up into my brush, and then I'm going to get my zinc and a little bit of my color. And I'm going to start to create some misty mist. Lightening that value up and kind of pushing that back a little bit. Very easily pull some blue. Like to come through and kind of leaf up the leaf up the world. This would be very cool for a horse. Just you know, you should have a blanket, a little face thing, instead of the leggy warmers. Uh huh. It's gold. It's gold. And also, 
in truth, in factual truth, things you know that this is artistically thought about is because um, generally you wouldn't have a horse with this fine of a coat out. He would be a shaggy boy. Right? He would be very, very shaggy boy. I'm going to get some just titanium white there. Through here. I like to sometimes come you know. between the branches and then around them. It just creates a lot of painterly joy. Painterly joy. That's what I'm giving myself right now. So over on our website, mm -hmm. I just want to say thanks to Anne, who just sent a wonderful thank you via our website. You can't see it over here in chat. Oh, thank you, Anne. I, I get little notifications when that happens. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. And... It makes a difference. It, it really, really does. I'm liking how that's looking. I'm going to rinse out, dry my brush off. In my lap is always a towel. If you see my hands go down with a brush, I am pulling the moisture out, pulling it out, making sure it's not too wet for the next technique. I always want to set the amount of water I have in my brush for the technique. And if that has been a challenge for you, I made a whole video just about how much is too much water. When is the right amount of water? All about just how to get that brush load tuned in for the brush you have at home and how to test to see if it's off. It's a pretty good video and it helped a lot of people, so I highly recommend it if this is an area you're struggling. Now I'm going to go back into my zinc and I'm going to come into the yellow that I had from earlier. And I'm going to welcome Annie and her dad who is painting along with us today. Hi, Annie and dad. Happy holidays. I hope you guys are doing good. Dad likes to paint the animals. I so get you. I love to paint the animals, too. You like to paint the animals. You follow me and Angela Anderson and Ginger Cook and thanking the Frugal Crafter. We give you lots of cuteness. 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 I'm really liking them. I'm trying to create this sense of uh, atmospheric light with the uh, zinc and the glazing medium. Hmm. Maybe a little more white into it. And I do kind of almost grab some blue and let it work wet into wet because I want almost a half tone here as we come out into the exterior forest. A little bit lighter, a little bit more light peeking through. It should feel very satisfying. The little touch of the brush. And get a little more of that gold there. And over here it might be a little more. And if I even get a little red into it, Power move, power move. Can start to make it feel like there are areas where the, the light is almost glowing. Mm, Kendra is like, wants to paint the schnauzers. I have a series that was about painting dogs called Big Art Quest Dogs. And we didn't get a schnauzer in, but I like dogs. And I like schnauzers, so you never know. You never know, because they're so pretty and stately and amazing. All right. Now, this is looking quite lovely. Oh, Brandy, thank you so oh, much. Brandy, thank whoop, you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, dry it. I got to dry it if dry, I can dry, get dry. to my hair dryer through my crazy holiday wrapping mess. <laughs> So, thank you, Brandy. Thank you, everybody. We're going to dry, dry, dry. Make sure you thoroughly dry your surface, and then we'll be able to go to the next step. I really like how these clouds come together in there. That makes that wonderful little broken up background. This is, it's real, real easy. Um, so, if this is your first time painting, oh, I've noticed there's some first time people joining us in chat. Hello, lovely, lovely to see everybody. It's our super favorite thing to be in chat together. It's really nice to see everybody here on the... Eve of Eve of another holiday. Oh. 
I am. You are readies. I am. There you go. Now I think I am going to add some more goldy glow over here. I'll come into my yellow and this red a bit. And then a little bit of my burnt sienna. I need to piece in some weird glow coming through the trees and to do that even though i've got a bigger tree i'm going to be implying is here i want to come in and paint around it thank you susan smith you're amazing thank you community you're amazing thank you i'm i'm really touched thank you turn off my camera for a second babe sure let me just do that for thank a you guys oh. very much and I have to go over to a button, so she goes, I'm going to give her just a little moment there. You guys are really, guys, super generous for it to us, and we really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, it it makes it possible for us to be here. So th thank you, Mary. You know, we, um, gosh, you guys are just generous. Is, generosity is is uh, is a lot, so we appreciate it. Um, you know, we're... Uh, you think you're about ready? No, I got a tissue. Okay, I'll find your tissue. Hold on, I'll turn you back. Here's, I got, I got, I think you got boxes over there. Yeah, there's some boxes. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we, uh, we really love doing this, guys. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's one of our favorite things to do. So, we do it all the time. True story. Sorry. No. I'm just touched. Thank you. In, uh, in, in other cat news, what cat news? They they're talking about cats on in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were they were saying how you, know, you you love cats, but you can't have cats because I'm allergic to cats. But we had other cat news. Well, you want to say the cat? You news? can. No, I want you to do it because I'm all emotional. I'm gonna paint a tree and explain it because I'm a little okay, you bit do that. touched you start right there. now. And you and you do cat because then I'll just start crying again. I do okay. cat. Well, you you, you okay. tell them uh, and then we'll get to that. I'm gonna take my burnt sienna and my Mars black together, and I want to make some kind of deadfall coming through here like there's trees and and they're sort of breaking back here because they're they, they dry and cold yeah. you have to get lots of deadfall on your winter stuff you do so cinnamon has really, really, really been wanting a cat. I'm gonna bring you, you back. Oh, you okay? Come yeah, back I'm okay. In. I'm okay now. I am. I just got a. I just got a little overwhelmed. It's been a rough year. <laughs> <laughs> and so we rough, uh, rough year and a half, two years. It's been rough. And and we have been uh, animalless for a long time, and we really like having pets. And but we're in a rental situation, so it's hard to have pets. But apparently, our our landlord's really open to cats, and. As I have uh, learned the Ann Arbor, Michigan way, cats are a, a thing. Like, cause they keep they keep the, the 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 mouse population out. They're all like there's neighborhood cats that. Uh, oh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. We love what you do. We love you guys being here, part of us. Too. Thank you for being part of everything that we're doing. I'm gonna come over here. I'm on the edge of this brush. I'm gonna make some some little more focal deadfall. So yes, uh, I am allergic to cats, which has been a stumbling block, one could say. It's not a stumbling block. You don't want the person you love to be all not able to breathe. Yeah. It's not, it's, <laughs> which, It's you very know, easy to understand. But when we were... When, when, I'm just adding dead ball over here. For the first, I don't know, 10 years of our marriage, when we did not have kids... Uh, we had we, every pet. We had all the pets, including cats and ferrets and prairie dogs and we parrots and i mean all of them they all we had the menagerie adding some deep shadow for a deadfall so and we loved it yeah it very fun. much we had really great hermit crab for a long time hermit crabs yeah my mom bought my my eldest hermit crabs at the mall with the the colorful tanks and the little plastic trees and so we just went online a little bit to know a little more about hermit crabs and then discovered <laughs> they have to be in an enclosed place with an exact amount of moisture they need salt water and 6 inches of sand they have to have things to climb you have to have weird little long spoons to feed them they have to have all kinds of strange things to eat including flowers and 
you must have a bunch of extra shells that you put into the tank periodically so that they can leave their shell and just try on another shell in case. And then they bear, they dig down in and they molt and they come back out. There was a life cycle to them. We loved it. It was it, awesome. It was amazing, but it's, amazing. it's more than colored sand. Yeah. <laughs> It and was a thank journey. Thank you creates a lot. Oh wow! Oh, I don't cry, even though there are happy tears. I hope the universe blesses you and your family this holiday, and the new year brings you the best in life. I'm so appreciative of John, you and everyone. I think I think that will be the case. I I am super grateful about where we were. I was I, I it was rough about how we got here, but now that we're here, I'm seeing that you know sometimes things work out the best. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. I am going to call it another step. Call it another step. Get a brush out and pull my 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 big girl panties on. <laughs> I think you're doing you just fine. Stop being a sap. <laughs> <sighs> Dysregulation. Yay! All right. So I'm gonna come in here. This is a D brush, and it's a hog bristle brush. And I like using these in landscapes and in winter paintings. Um, because of their scruffy, diffused nature. You don't have to have this brush. Um, what you'll see is it's almost like a round blender on one side, and then on another side, it's like a filbert, you know? And so you could do a round with this. You could do a filbert with this. It would be fun. I just like these because it's like a bunch of brushes in one, and then I don't have to work so hard. I'm going to get it wet. Oh, Heather C. would like to hear the kitty story from you. Well, it's not so much a kitty story yet. As much as um, Norwegian forest cats are apparently have very very low dander, and they 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 don't uh, create the saliva as much that causes the allergic reaction, and so started looking into those and uh, making little little scoofy marks, little scoofy 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 scoop soup soup, soup and I'm gonna make them through here. Yeah, that way you can talk, and I'm just yeah, being no, and, and very between... relaxing for me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> And between the uh, that and the new foods, which help suppress that, uh, there's a good chance that we might be able to have one of those little allergen uh, cats. And uh, so we're going to start looking around for someone who is a breeder or has one that we can kind of get to know and do some testing on. You know, so I need to stick in John's face. Basically, yeah, I've got to grow my face on a cat and see what happens. Which cats love for some reason. It's just like, yeah, this is their they favorite see John thing. And they're like, we love you. You are our king. And then John's like, no, no, I'm not your king. And they're like, no, we love you more than anyone. Let's cross. What size brush is that one? Uh, this is brush? the number eight. So I think in the D brushes, I like having at least an eight and a four um, in both the textura and the artony. And then if you can, if you can swing it a zero is lovely. But the eight and the four gets me through most stuff. Now, my blues will be brighter here, and then as I come out towards this outer edge, I'll get a slightly darker color going, and that's just sort of how we kind of talk about the distance from light. When you are moving away from your light source, whether you're making a painting up or whether you're painting from life, there should be some deepening of hue and color as you become distant from it. And we're going to make some... Little scruffy lines. This is like maybe snow has landed on low br brush. It's amazing how how effective some of this stuff is to get done. I think it needs to be darker there. Interestingly enough, I'm going to come here. A little more blue, darker over here. Uh, Hope says get a really good air purifier. gets the dander out of the air. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get one of those for my mom. She didn't have a cat, but I think that her interior house air is not as clean as it could be. I'm just adding that cool over there and that creates that sense that maybe there's some there's some 
branches that got a little snow, right? Something mm-hmm. kind of landed over here and might have uh, be collecting up. Add a little highlight to it, and it really starts to feel like it, doesn't it? Man, I love doing this. It's wonderful. Now, if I get over into my phthalo and still tone it back with a little bit of the brown. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Kendra, I live in Florida, so we have tons of lizards around, and my dogs hunt them. You know, I, I worry that in Florida, that that's, that's a, I mean, uh, I think it's a 50-50 uh, uh, game. Some of is, those it, lizards is it a get lizard big. or are you calling alligators a lizard? Because I'm never lizard sure lizards. with got, Florida where you're like, I got, because dogs will like go after alligators. They're they like great in Florida. You got a, yeah, you got big, like there's stuff. There's all sorts of stuff there. But they get, so I think that it's a matter of time and size there. Oh, Lori. She got a, I thank love Florida. You. Lori, thank you so much. How are you doing? I hope you're good. Now, by adding a little of the this kind of halo blue here, you see it creates a different coolness to the ground. And thank I think you. that is, thank you so much, Lori. I thank think that is a lot of life. fun for us. Yeah. Huh? Thank you for enriching our life too, guys. Yeah, you really do. Now, while I'm here, I might take some of this kind of blue because I feel like there's some in the snow here. I can start layering in a little of this turquoise a little stronger. And the, and the reason is, is that turquoise, if I'm, hey, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna would be, I would use that more in um, a northwestern kind of landscape, right? Where it's sort of like a farm landscape or it's that cool day. But like a, the more Arctic I go, the more cold it is and the, the way the ice gets clearer, then you switch more into thalo. But when you do use thalo like i am right here you can create zones of what feel like deeper chill it's kind of cool and add a little bit over here just adding a little bit of deeper chill and it will peek through my snow if i scruff scruffle up some over here energetically and by energetically whenever you hear an artist talk about energetically a lot of times they're being super literal where the brush is just moving and dancing and it moves and dances. It just goes, bleh, bleh, bleh. It's super fine. I might add some to this space so that when we flew through the snow, there's a little bit of that kind of peeking through. So that that's extra cool. And then we can put turquoise into the white horse, which will make the white horse feel more white. Okay. All right. The brush is clean. I've wiped out all the extra water. I think we can call it another... Um, uh, step. The seventh step. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to come here and get into my ultramarine blue. And continuing on with this brush, start to uh, make some snow banks. And... Now through here, through this middle, I'm going to come maybe even in my darker blue so I can really see it. I've got a darker area that I'm working out. I'll get a little of my brown on my brush. Working out some darker snow area. Keeping those colors where they work. And you can kind of see how this is picked up value. And I'm going to come here and add a little more blue. Hmm. 
And see, it just takes it over. Then if I get into my light color, I guess got some ultramarine blue. I just want it to be lighter, but not white. And I'm going to make little back and forth motions. Just very lightly pulling this out. Maybe bring a kind of little stripping in more. And you start to have this America, a horse with no name came out in 1971. America is the artist. I, I love that song, a horse with no name. I loved it. I had a horse. He had a name. But I used to like to listen to it when I was riding. <laughs> Especially if I was in the desert, it was just too meta for me. <laughs> I got to, if that's fun for anyone, at one point, ride in Arizona listening to that song on my horse. Because you can almost tie anything to the back of an endurance or western saddle. <laughs> Even a radio. And I think it's so funny now, because like when my kids are like, I want to bring my tech to school. I'm like, you can't bring your tech to school. And then I think, I used to ride yeah. with my radio tied to my horse. My parents said nothing. Thank you, Mary. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Different stuff, I think. Different levels of risk here. Hmm? Different risk. Different levels of risk. Well, probably. And a lot of times things like, I probably bought my own radio. I always had like odd jobs and I would always do like, um, like garage sales and things. Mm -hmm. So I, I was a pretty, uh, pretty industrious little kid. So if I didn't have something and I really wanted something, I just would go like muck stalls for people until I had the thing. Right. Sort of my way. I'm just going back and forth in this little loosely laying the snow down. And you can see how there is pops of turquoise coming through and it just starts to be a, I love this landscape so much. <laughs> Wish I'd done it 4860. I may have to come back and do it 4860. As soon as I have enough space to stand up with an easel. <laughs> Whew. I'm going to continue to add a little bit of light here and there. Just, just more. When you pop little bits of lighter, and you can even get into like, your zinc and stuff, when you pop little bits of lighter value, what happens is it feels like light's coming through this background onto the snow. Now this one is much more brown than blue. And what that will do is it'll let me lighten it. without making it seem like it's too far into the light. Off the edge there, just pulling that in. Much more colorful snow than you probably thought. <laughs> It's hard to realize how colorful snow actually is. I'm going to get a little bit of my uh, black and brown. I'll come over here to my thalo, and I'm going to make sure that I have very dark right here because I need to be able to bury the legs a little bit in snow. So that should have a slightly deeper shadow. I went and grabbed a little more blue. And then I'll I'll lighten it up as I go back. There we go. That snowbank now is where I want it to be. And nothing is too bright. I can still put highlights there and pull it forward. All right, let's call this 
um, a step, rinse out our brush, dry everything so we can thoroughly see it. It's yeah. a good time to stand up, stretch, heat your coffee, do self care, make sure you. I don't know about you, but I have learned if you have really extreme forms of ADHD, you don't, you forget to go to the restroom or you just don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's a, I just thought that was like, but don't put it off. Honey keeps reminding me it's very bad for you. <laughs> so if you need that, it's a good time to do it. John will run a thing in an ad. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. So, oh yeah, I really love the way that the snow comes together on this painting. It's uh, it's looking really, really good here. I'm excited to see. I think that the horses actually come together pretty quickly. Cinnamon knows horses like really a lot. Uh, she rode horses all as a kid. She paints paints them a lot. We've um, never really had the opportunity to have land so that she could have a horse, but you never know. Maybe someday. And thank you, Splendor. Oh, I really appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you guys and all a happy holiday for oh, whatever Splendor holiday. Splendor Campbell just did a very generous. Yeah, whatever holidays you guys are doing, we really appreciate it. Yeah, very much. Very much. Be your new step. <sighs> Ah, Amy says, no holding things because you can damage kidneys. Yeah, that apparently is what it is. So it's always good to take care of that. I'm going to add some chunked up interesting uh, nonsense over here. And I think I'm going to switch to my filbert, which again was my number eight Raphael Precision filbert. And I will go ahead and grab a little bit of maybe, maybe a little blue and black for the deadfall up front here. These tend to be little shorter marks. And the reason for that is, is because things just tend to peek out of the snow with little bits of themselves. And I like to duplicate that. My my dad's family comes from Rollins, Wyoming, and they have a they have a winter similar to the one Mongolia is going through right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like for real. My dad's stories are you know how like people are like, I walked uphill in the snow both ways. My dad walked uphill in the snow both ways. It's Rollins, Wyoming. <laughs> That's exactly what it is all year. Uphill in the snow both ways. <laughs> Not always. But that's he definitely had um that childhood experience. Yeah, we have lighter, you know, wood and stuff that will come out. But as important as the light color is in snow to make it look like snow, these contrasting shadows are very, very important. Mm. And you can see I can make little light lines with these. And that creates little sticks that could be visible to us. Oh, Leanne, oh, thank you so much. Oh, and Amy has had two kidney transplants. Ooh. Stay hydrated and no holding things. So I feel like Amy's uh, like insight on this is very <laughs> something we should totally listen to. And I will do that. That's I'm sorry you went through that. That must have been intense. Making little marks sometimes just imply little leaves or things that could be there. Now, sometimes I will have to put back my deep, 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 and that's just because I outpaint it, but it's no problem to put them back in. Mm. Let's get our, our white over here to our ongoing little snowy color, but it's a bit lighter this time. And you just kind of add maybe some lightness to the tops of twigs. Up here, it's a little more blue and cool. And then as it'll come back, it might get bright again. Ish. Mm, ish. Ish. Little marks making that little deadfall center.
little more blue right here, you'll find that it's okay to even keep some of these highlights a little cool. That way you have something to pop. Yeah. Now over here, a little more brown. Oops. What's that? I put too much blue on my brush, but I'm just going to smudge it back and you can see it vanishes away. Doesn't It doesn't hurt me. Little lighter pops of color. Yeah. And this, believe it or not, too, can also feel like twigs. Mm. And that's okay to make it twiggy. I think this is the type of work that we forget to do in our landscapes. And look, I know, like, we are a family, like, we are giving what we make this year. Um, and I know a lot of families are. I... Sorry, I had to move the horse. I tried to put a little cow up there if you look against the gun. And I hope we got this in if you are doing the horse as a gift. I've got another one that's a black horse on canvas. It's just the head with a wreath around it. It was more of a two hoot and it has a mini book. Do I have put highlights over there just but sparingly? I like making little squish, 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 squish. I feel like that just does snow really well when you go to try to do it. Kind of darkening that there and roughing it up. Now we can go right back into like kind of our dead fall colors, which are good. Let's take our yellow and our red. Make an orange and get a bit of a brown in there. Making little twig lines. A little more brown. Making little lines kind of curving up and falling over. Let me show you what that looks like really specifically. All right. So the motion is you're kind of going up and over. And what will happen is these peaks of paint will really show on your canvas. These lines will actually look cleaner. Um, it's a really interesting thing how you can do this and just create such a good effect for deadfall. Mm. Give me a little black this time. It's a little too much. I'm going to pull that up. Kind of push it back. It's there, but it's not as, not as intense. Mm. 
Maybe a little darker kind of value. That's too much. So all I have to do is just get a little other color and then I can work the blue out. It's really pretty transparent, so it'll go. Okay. Well, let's get some highlights going on our world. Call it a new step. New step. I'm going to grab some white, get my glazing medium in it, and just kind of work it into my area here that has the off color. I can go up here. Yeah, kind of back and forth there. Just scruffling and scrubbing back and forth, making some nice snowing banks. And close to the horse carefully, and then, you know, just work it out, pull it out. So we're just putting this highlight back in there. Little pops of banks and things. Maybe a little much. Come put it back. We'll see. Making this just all kind of very energetic. I love it. Let's come over here and highlight this up too. I'm going to go ahead and get a little of my black on here. A little black, a little blue. Just working there, making sure we have a little highlight so that when we go to put his little bits up where he's running, we have the room, the shadow over it to make it work. Really come between these two. You know, because it's light. And what's nice about what you're doing here is you're leaving room to lighten up if you need to. Get a little yellow in that one. Increase a little snow that's maybe a little more glowing. Could be. Little turquoise there. And a little turquoise here. Just making sure that that snow feels a little cool. Look at that go. Okay, let's dry everything. Dry, 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 dry. Dry, 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 dry. Dry, 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 dry. Dry, dry, dry. And. Thank you guys again for coming and joining us today. It's been really, really nice to see all of you guys chat, hanging out. And uh, I'm going to cough just a second. Hold on, guys. Ooh, sorry about that. Snuck up on me. Derp de derp de derp. How are we doing? Good. I just had a little cough there. Stuck up on me. Mm, I'm ready for some coffee or coffee heat up. I am sure. I can do both of that here. Well, we'll get you on to the next step, though. Okay. Let's get me on to the next step. How about we horse for a little while? Anybody ready to horse? Let's work on the face. Might as well. It's the more challenging part. And sometimes if you get in there and start 
taking some of the harder parts out of the way, it will help you. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and grab a little of my black and my brown. And I've got my little eyes here and I'm going to very carefully with my number six Raphael round paint in the shape. Glazing medium anytime you need it. Thank you, babe. Very excited about the cat. If it happened, it'd be cool. Okay. I'm going to come here and kind of start to think about these nostrils and their shape. They look like little sixes to me always. The reason I work this stuff in is that's that's where his personality will show the most and so i always just want to get that out of the way so we can see our little duder the way our duder wishes to be seen i'm gonna come up into the ears putting in a little bit of that that dark there put a little line there one right there I'm kind of under the little jaw. Under here. I like to sometimes just go in and, you know, make sure that I've got the values that I need to have kind of worked out. This one I'll have to like, ca to catch this nostril, I have to catch that highlight out there. I'll put a little shadow under on the lip. Make sure that these values are a little bit dark there. Huh? Yay! Whew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I like to just think about where the shadows are, and so I'll start to think about how to put those in, and you'll see me. Make sure that we've got a little bit of thoughtfulness there. Now, the front of the nose is gray, and then we're going to go into a bit of a brown. So I'm going to want to get in here. in front of the nose and work out that gray. Come back with brown later. I just need to know where the gray is. Another place I might put that gray is around the eye. I'll just very lightly kind of kind of put it along here. So what we're doing is we're creating not a grisaille, but we are thinking about the way that our our value defines the shapes. I think I'm probably okay. I think it's, I think, I think as long as I caffeinate up, I'm okay. I oh, love the movie with Jim Carrey. Which one was it? The Jim Carrey one. I am, um, I'm watching a, uh, well, I mean, come on, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective will always be good. He's gotten so fun and weird lately, Jim Carrey. I don't know what to make of him, but life is strange. And I can't even imagine what it's like to be famous. Just like at all, like, because being on YouTube is, I think, a very different experience than being, like, famous because we have a more interactive relationship. And with celebrities, we don't really know them at all. Like, we don't know Taylor Swift, you know. So, I'm sure she's lovely. <laughs> if, if you know Taylor Swift, I bet she's a delight. But I'm just saying, like, you know, it's, it's just different the way you might get to know me than you might know somebody who's a big, giant celebrity. 
Mm. Mm. I'm still kind of working out my deal. I'm going to go ahead and get a little white into this area I mixed before, which was my yellow and my red and a little of my burnt sienna. And I'll start the basis of his whiteness with this off-white color. Now, for sure, I will be painting the legs and everything in shadow. But right now, I just want to get some color on him. I may even go to a bigger brush. I just want to get some color on him. just want to color him up. Filbert's a little bigger. Let's go here. And see, I'm just getting off-white. It doesn't, it's not even that important to me. It's just off-white. If I come back here, I might go more into the blue. And I definitely, definitely will be darker down here in a minute. But starting here with any amount of color does help. A little more blue there. Come down the leg and kind of deepen that. A little bit of my brown and blue there. It's okay to show your leg deeper into the snow because we're going to be putting a lot of snow into it. And so it's all right if it's going into the embankment. That doesn't, that's not going to, that is definitely not going to mess you up. And I kind of painted out some of my stuff here, so I'm going to grab my black and kind of put it back in. What I'm doing is making sure that that, you know, even though I've got the hoof and the leg kind of maybe in the snow, I do want to just bring a little bit of that leg down coming along that inside line coming along this inside little line I find that um, for me, a horse is really, really in these little lines here. Like I love like around the knee. Okay, let's come in here and maybe a little blue. Much like the snow. White horse is going to be barely any white. <laughs> white snow is going to be barely any white. I'm just getting color on here now. Making sure that there's some values. It's a highlight up here and there's mane and stuff, so I don't worry about it too much, but it is good to be aware. A lot more white here at the belly if you come back. 
you can let the hock or the hind end create the space between the areas on the horse. And some like white there and light white there. Okay, now I think what we're going to want to do is take his strangeness and dry him so we can do the next part. <laughs> okay. Barely dry. Pshew, pshew. Barely dry between the steps so that we can do the next layers because in, in acrylic you have to definitely dry between your layers. That way you can build them up. You know, that's the acrylic thing. Thoroughly dry between layers. Yeah. I like how the horses just sort of emerge in this process. The underpainting just sort of brings out the muscles and then the, the details and the highlights come together. It's really, really nice. I like seeing it. Hi, Bernadette. I, I want to say hi to your son who's watching. Hi. I'm glad you're watching. I think it's cool. Snow is fun. I love painting snow. And it's fun to do with like all kinds of different art supplies. I do have a simple snowman lesson that's for kids um, that I did a little bit back um, that goes over how to draw and paint with just regular supplies. Pretty fun. All right. Bernadette in a little brush. Let's continue on with our horsey. And I think I'm going to get a small kind of under control brush here. I'm going to grab a angle. And I'll just grab my uh, one of my Princeton quarter inch angles it's just that I want control over what I'm about to do control like I'm Janet Jackson I'm going to take a little bit of my green and blue it's not super necessary but can be nice and come off the back here and just put a little bit of that in just the start. A little bit of tail coming back. A little shadow right here. Kind of I'm gonna like a triangle right there in that shape. We've got to really build up these chest muscles. I got to build up chest muscles because I got to run. If they don't have no chest muscles, there's no running. Doesn't happen, you know? Now, I'm going to come under the neck. I'm a little behind with a shadow. And then again, under here a bit with a shadow because we've got to show that there's a roundness and a width to that. So I'm going to get into my green and brown again. Let's shade this side just a little bit more. It's going to really kind of come down to that point. It doesn't go too deep past here. Mm, get a little brown. I need to put a brighter highlight here, but I'll have to build it up. It's just, you got to build the highlights. Grab a little brown down here. Maybe a little bit right there. Maybe a little more over in the gray. And I'm going to show the belly and the separation from the hindquarters through here. Through through the shading on 
the hawk. I mean, not the hawk, the, uh... Man, I can't remember anything. I'm so deep in the painting, guys. <laughs> what happens when you're teaching online is, um, and I don't know if other teachers talk about it, but it's, like, definitely a thing where you are so in the painting, you forget how to talk. And that is the challenge. Um, because it's easy to be in these paintings. I'm going to go ahead and make this darker, darker, darker. A lot of snow will be going over that leg, and so it will help it not only to show up against the background, but will also, well, that's too much. Let's go over into our blue and kind of blend that down a bit, and we'll fix it in a second. We just want to shade the front of this leg coming down. Maybe add some shading right there. So take a, take a look wow. for a second at how we're building his shading I, up. I got a big thank you to Deborah, who just sent us a wonderful gift over on our website. Thank you, uh, Deborah. It's, a, it's actually about 20 minutes ago. So thank you, Deborah. Thank I'm you, not Deborah. sure if you're still here with us, but thank you. It's thank really, you so really much. Generous. Thank you so, so much. So I want to come in and lighten up here. I'm going to get into my white. I don't mind if I pick up a little bit of the gold with my white. And the reason is, is that because this is the highest and most exposed part of him. I'm going to put a little highlight there. I know I've got main coming over it, but I find I never know where my main's going to exactly go. So sometimes I have to paint more in when I paint just, just for that unexpected when I do to myself. Now, right here. I need to put a highlight, and then I just need to put some highlights in that to kind of show the musculature. There's a highlight. And there's one. So we're starting to pull that that forward going in. Uh, and Christmas hugs, for those who want them, I'll take a Christmas hug. Sorry, I'm a little... Mm. Focused. I'm you're focused. Not, you're not anything but focused. I'm just so focused. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You want, you want, you're, you're starting you're in, to see him come together, and I think we're starting to see how this is constructed and how this happens. This is what us. happens when cinnamon gets horse in the brain. Mm-hmm. I have horse on the brain, and it's just a, it's a, it's a real thing. It's a real condition, and I suffer from it. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of my cad red and yellow and my burnt sienna. And start to add some of that nice coloring there. Maybe a little down here. So up front here, there's this sort of angular moment. Um, come here and see, like, maybe a little bit right there, and then a little more yellow. There's lots of ways to talk about the energy of something, mm. its presence in the world, motion, gesture, color, all that. But when we put these pops of exciting colors that are the complement to the color that they're against, like the blues, it makes our winter painting so much less dull. Right. Now I'm going to get a little bit of my brown in there. It's okay if I even get a little black. It's just a little bit darker right here. Come down and just adding these little bits. Okay. 
come here and add some of that color to this leg. And here. All right. Now he's super colorful. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Tonya. How are you doing today? I love seeing everybody. I see crafting with Victoria Clark. I hope you are crafting happy today. Continue on. Let's give it another step. And we're just going to keep powering through till we're done. It's just a big one, but it's it good. is a fun one. Yeah. All right. Now let's get a little bit of our glazing medium. And I'm going to come here. And just at the top, I, I really want to put some white there. Maybe a little bit more here than I did. Mm, I think I need to move that over. That's what's wrong. Uh -huh. When I see something that I've done wrong where I've laid it out wrong, and I'm like, oh, I'm not paying attention oh, to my thank lines. thank you, Trish. Thank you, nice Trish. seeing you. Trish Woods. Trish, thank you. How are you? It is a definite wintry season today. It is, and it's going to be winter all the way through January and some fun stuff that you are going <laughs> to love. Some people got extra winter. <laughs> some pe uh, Yeah, some people got some extra winter. Like extra, extra winter. And I know, so here's the thing, like I know I don't, I don't know if YouTube ever makes it into china like i don't know i don't know what their current i don't know but uh if they i know i watch some creators that manage to get their stuff out so like that's how i get to see the snow is i kind of just trust people who are like crafty like me and live there <laughs> you know what i mean mm -hmm. and i get their update um kind of more how i am i kind of had that there if i get a little white into it lighten it up a bit and what we're creating is uh an element there you're going to want to create an element here and what is very important about this is this shaping so you see my shading here yeah we've got this here this will come up and what that will do when we get everything like kind of exaggerated is really let you see that the horse's chest is carrying him forward 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 Make sure that the leg back here is just a little more shaded at that point. You just build it up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So we're going to go stick your face in a Norwegian forest cat. <laughs> I think that's kind of the idea at some point. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be magic. Also just a fun day. <laughs> Could be, yeah. <laughs> Even if nothing else happened, I would be entertained. <laughs> You're like, yeah, because it's not your allergy. <laughs> but it had a little more blue. <laughs> Just to cool it down. And you can see this starts, starts to, you know, help our back leg get back. Keep adding little colors. Mmm. A lot more white. Catch that muscle pop forward right there. Uh, you can expect some wrestling painting soon, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably doing some of that. And for everyone who is kind of like keeping it down low where we were, um, we had kind of a recent cold splash of water on our face and realized that being online means um, <laughs> you can't go well, off the grid. Not, yeah, we're not really super hidden either. Yeah, but for like, I, I just want to let people know. We are okay, and everything is okay in that area. Yeah, we are okay. Very happy. Yeah, we're all right. I'm going to add a little more light there. Try to bring it up to show that little muscle coming up. And again there. And again there. And if I have to come here and make sure that these little light pops stand out i will do that that's what i will do Trish is like thank you for the well wishes oh I, we all have so many well wishes mm -hmm. thank you guys for everything here just grateful to see y'all 
think about you guys a lot. I'm going to take a little bit of my ultramarine blue and thalo blue. That's fun. I love adding those little touches. It just mm. makes me very happy. Very, very happy. And then I come and get a little light on it. And if I go right there, kind of see that happening. I love the hawk. I love, I love this right here. This little, this little joint is like, mm. I love that joint. <laughs> I'm not explaining to you. There's just a couple parts of a horse where I'm just like, like, I just love its knobbiness. And they're so knobbies. Their knees are so knobbies. And the little, Bones are so knobbies. Get a little more white on my brush, a little more brown. This is a painting where I just work through the colors, much like we did in the snow. So it's a lesson on how to paint something that can have neutral applications, but paint it in a very exciting way. Get into this part here and kind of work that out, blend that out. Mm -hmm. Work over here, brown and black. Just trying to make sure that the shape of everything reflects what I've got going on. Yeah. I am going to get over to my blue now with a little bit of my brown now. And I'm going to come out here and work that out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to come down and go, oh, there's a muscle there. Muscle, 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 muscle. Muscle, 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 muscle. I'm gonna knock that back a little bit. It needs to be dark, but it does, and it has some of that color, but I don't want it to have that much. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah. No more into my blue. Kind of deepening up that bad belly. Bad belly. It's got a bad belly. And I want to, I want to deepen it up. Right, add a shadow there. That's a nice shot. That's a good shot. Good one. Yeah, just nice little shading as we pull it up. What hoot rating is this? This hoot rating is a three plus. So what's happened is I've been painting for 10 years and um, we've just had to have uh, more involved beginner mm -hmm. lessons that cover them with deeper topics. So like the cow we just did with the Christmas lights all around would be like a two hoot and then you know, if I if I were to like do Christmas trees with like a fan brush, that would be like a one hoot. And then the stuff where we're deeply layering using a lot of different materials, I'm introducing a lot of techniques and color mixes to you. Those I absolutely rate raise the hoot meter on. Now what we have is we will break this down into steps. We will take uh, all the step photos, we'll get little instructions with them that you can download. Um, this one may actually get a full mini book because it's going to be part of a, a probably a larger winter book. And then, um, where was I going? I don't even remember. <laughs> horse, hi, how are you? It's a good horse. Who's a very good horse. Let's work in here. Now, I want a little more blue in this, because even though this is sort of kind of talking about the highlighting in the chest, it's still not in bright light. And come here, and right there. I kind of like this highlight, so I'm trying to help that be shaded. Mm. 
<laughs> Adding a little more white. I get it, dirt. Like, I'm in here in the browns, I'm in the blues, aren't I? I'm everywhere. Mm. Now, what I'm doing here is creating a very distinctive highlight, which will help bend the knee. <laughs> like Daenerys kept saying, will you bend the knee? <laughs> we got to bend the knee, so that's what we're doing. And get a little blue in it. kind of coming over that and and we're letting that you know have that moment and then i'm gonna get a little bit of my blue here and then we get a little white over into my yellow so this was yellow cad red and a uh, little bit of burnt sienna and titanium white. So we're just continuing to work that over here. Hmm. Let's add just a bit of the start of the highlight that will be around neck. And I may have to push this back. I may have overcorrected for it. So sometimes that will happen. Come into my blue over here. And see that just adds that shot. It's so fun to play with how we are shading him, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Make sure that that's there and it's present. We just want to get a little lighter highlight. Come right here and be like, ooh. Just continuing to shape that up. Mm -hmm. You got to shape it up, shape it up. Shape it up right under the neck. Let's give that some highlights. Look, we're just really painting a horse. <laughs> this is all that's happening today. Is just, we're just really painting a horse. Of course. Of course, of course, a horse, of course. If ever there was a horse, of course. Mm. No, I want to go blue with this one. But lighter. So what I'm looking for is to start the shading for under the neck. Trying to make sure that we've got good shadows and a little bit lighter here. Just making sure we've got good lighting. Right. Sketching that down. I'm still just using this angle brush. All right. That is very good. I think I could dry this. We're still going on. Um, oh, we're Sherpa? We are Sherpa. We did. We did. John used to give me uns, 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 uns. But he I was, I'm sorry. I was super distracted <laughs> because I recognized I have to go find another hard drive. We just filled that one up. Hold on a second. Did we? We filled up a whole hard drive. We do that a lot. We try to uh <clears throat> we try to do a thing where we um keep our our videos backed up to something besides where we're uploading them. Um 
I don't know what the future is going to hold, but we just wanted to make sure that no matter what, we have back backup copies because okay. very often weird stuff will happen like on Facebook all the time. Like some will get pulled down. And I'm like, you yeah, know, that's just a painting. And then it goes in review. And of course, they don't review it unless I use the paid for service. By the way, that's what the paid for service is. So you can complain to somebody at mm. Facebook. Kelly just ordered a nice little package of brushes. Oh, She'll really? Enjoy. Thank yeah, you gonna... so much. Oh, and you. the bug is you a member for it. 35 months. Bug. Yay. Okay. I think we're very good here. I'm going to get back into my round. Ready for your next step then? Yeah, I think so. All right. I'm going to rinse my little brush brush out and come over to my grays. Like you do. Getting some gray. And let's make sure that we've got our little ears painted in how we want them. Even though, even though, we are absolutely a little lighter white there. Now, I am going to get my brush kind of in my white, and I will be working throughout all my colors. The reason is the mane and tail, um, they're very actually colorful. And I'm just going to pull that along and have a nice little moment going off. Get some brown. Now, as it comes down, right, like as we're down here, we're going to want darker colors. And then as we go up, we'd want brighter colors. And then the blue is going to peek out from that. And, you know, it's going to get there. A little bit of blue, a little bit of brown, and some glazy medium. Just pushing it over. Yeah, shading kind of the under parts of this, and then maybe even up into here into the tail. And then as we add light, higher lights through there, you'll start to see it come through. And get more white. I don't mind if it goes into the brighter colors. Just pushing out a little bit of tail. Now, I do find anytime I do manes and tails, it does change a little bit every time. We don't always get the same hairstyle. And that's okay. We don't mind. Now I'm going to get real dark. Go into my black and get some blue. Black and blue are my favorites for this. Let's go. Now, while I'm here, I can be very careful and make sure the inside of my ear has some lovely, lovely shading. I can also come here and make sure that my forelock has some lovely, lovely shading. And then along here, I'm going to be much darker than you might expect um, to show the underside of the mane. 
the underside of the mane. This horse needs a name. Got to put some paintings in the patrons to do names. Sunday is not a patron Zoom class because it's Christmas Eve and we're doing the donations uh, to the kids in the area. Um, but Monday we are painting Christmas Day with the whole community repainting the color purple. Um, I know the movie's coming back out and got redone and I just thought it was a perfect time for me to redo my color purple painting, which I've really wanted to do for a while. And I'm going to do that. Um, so if you need some company or would like to come hang out or paint the color purple, maybe you're doing a watch party on Christmas. I don't know. If you're doing a watch party of the color purple on Christmas, you could come paint it with us. Um, and so that could be kind of fun. I'm not going to go too much further out. So you can see I've created some dark shading for the main to work from. If I go into my light now. And there we go. It's not all of the main. What it is is enough of the main that when it's dry, I can see the main. Enough. It's enough. Let's come in here and start to work around all the stuff that is Mr. Kitty Paint's face. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow ochre, cad yellow, and white. And we're going to really be lots and lots of interesting values and things. Come here to the forehead. Now I'm going to get a little more white. A little bit right there, up over the eye. Bringing the bridge down, like you do. You gotta bring their little noses down, right? They have little noses, you gotta bring it in. And we're back into the gray. Just bringing the little values and shading in. Get a little bit of my rust. A little bit more black. A little bit of light so his nostril can flare out on the far side. A little bit of light so his nostril can flare out over here. I'm going to add a highlight on that nostril. I'm just going into my uh, browns and golds right now. I'm going to come here and add another little highlight. Run that back up. Let's get a little bit of black and brown together. Just barely, barely on the toe of the brush. I'm going to come behind my jaw. Just barely, barely. Come right here, and there's a bit of a shading right there. And then we've got a bit of shading right here. And go ahead and just, just get some very mellow gray and come over on the side. Down the jawline with that. And blend into the brown a bit. Slightly lighter color. I 
until we put like the jaw highlights and certain elements um you know certain certain elements will like start to pop up as soon as we get our highlights in but right now we got to get this in so there we go get a little more of that hopefully i'm not overdoing that out if i have to i'll put that back in i think i might have overworked it outside i over exaggerated that length of line and just all of it so i want to bring that back in and you can see that very quickly improves it I'm going to add a little shadow there, a little glazing, a little thought, get a little white. This has had, again, the cad yellow and the cad red and a little uh, yellow ochre, sometimes burnt sienna. Little highlight on that little jaw. A little highlight. Mm. Maybe a little more light. So it's still in shadow, but it's just slightly lighter than I have it demonstrated here. As you go. Okay, just making sure our neck shows behind our head. Uh, do I have any portrait books how to paint them? Um, no, no portrait books on how to paint them. Recommend Walter Foster's How to Make Skin Tones, 400 Recipes. That's a really good book. Uh, someday I hope to have one. I'm sure John right now is like, we should make that book. <laughs> It'll get there. We got so many books to do. So lots many books, books to books. do. I'm adding again my cad red, my cad yellow, a little burnt sienna. I'm coming on the outside of that very large nostril. Hmm. I think I want to come over here to my yellow ochre and kind of create this grayed out blue. Maybe a little more brown there so it grays out more. Just shading out the planes of the face. Muscles and things that we would see in the face, we are shading those out. Little brown down there. Take my little yellow gold, come on the underside of the, the little lip here to show it. A little bit there, a little bit there.
Just making sure our horse is. Uh, is there a substitute or close for CAD red light? Uh, yes. So CAD red light is a very uh, bright orange red. So it should almost appear to be an orange red to your eyes. So there's a pie rule that works really well for that. They have a lot of reds. Naphthol has one that will get into there. Quinn does. So what, what you're looking for is a red that's slightly orange. And then um, for ultramarine blue, ultramarine blue, it, you know, I like cobalt. I like Prussian. There's other things I like for it. But the best way to think about it is it's a blue that has a strong bias of red in it instead of green. And so it makes great purples, um, but not bright, vibrant greens. It makes more natural greens when you use it with cad yellow. And I have a whole bunch of videos on color mixing. I actually have a whole beginner course on like why that all happens. And I have another one on the, the eight primaries that you've got to have and why. And it all gets kind of into that. But yeah, absolutely. There's substitutes. Hue is just fine. Hue is just, just fine. Um, that is a hue doesn't have the pigment in it. So the cost of it drops significantly. So if you buy cad yellow hue, it might cost half of what cadmium yellow costs. And can be very good. All right, continuing on with this tiny, tiny, tiny brush. Let me get some gray. You give me a new. Um... So we're just getting our little lashes in there. I can come in with a little bit of my lighter color. And really get that going. And so it's not that hard to get the um, uh, eyes in at all. I'm going to take a little bit of my black. Make sure that it's under there. So that they're dark. Come like a little bit here and forward a bit. Because we are just making sure. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of my black again. Lick, lick, lick. That's. Curve that shadow. Gently bring it down. It's pretty deep on the inside. And then I'm going to just leave some of that not as shaded as deeply. And then pop, you get it. You get a, you get nostrils. And if I go ahead and add a little shadow between the lips and then I, I'm going to come here. Dip in. Also kind of there, but you just don't want to, you don't want to go out too far. Get some white, 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 but my brush isn't, my brush is not like completely clean. So what happens when I get a very light color and my brush isn't clean, some of the color on my brush will get on this and then that will help me. Just adding the little highlights so you can see his little nostrils because he's got nostrils. And you want to see his little nostrils. I'm going to put a little more highlight back on the bottom of that little lip. And then go ahead and just get a little hair. Go ahead and get white, white, white. Kind of creates that nice little highlight over that eye, doesn't it? And then there we are. We have a nice little highlight over the eye. It's fun to paint horses. 
fun to paint them and you know like this is this is a big one but you can paint them in a session you really can i'm going to come into my gray maybe work a little more on my cute ears I'm getting to my ultramarine blue and my glazy medium. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of paint carefully around this background. I know I'm going to put a lot of main back, but if I have this painted back in and the background is close, and by working it through here, it won't seem like a patch because I worked it through the woods a couple places. Instead of seeing, seeming like a patch or an issue, what it that starts to become then is. Um, an intentional choice, which one must enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my black, I'm gonna roll it on my tip. Get a little more glazing mean because I wanna work it through here. I'm going to come and grab a little bit of my blue and I've got black on my brush. I'm just getting a lighter color. I'll make sure that I've got good, good, good bones here. Adding a little highlight down on him where I see he needs it. You just keep playing. I, you know, the thing with these is you can go hours and hours and hours and days and days and days, and there's nothing wrong with it. Just so you know. I'm getting into my, this was my yellow, my cad red, a little burnt sienna, sometimes yellow ochre and white. It's becoming these varying levels of beige that I get to use for my. Mm, just painting little elements out. You can get a little gray into that, and sometimes that's nice because then you can kind of half tone blend. Mm-hmm. Just putting in the main and there you go, just kind of pushing it back. It's not all we're gonna do, but when we start to put it in, we really start to see it. And her was like, I don't think I could paint this. This is this is a lot. It's probably it's probably up there with the fox bat, the if you got through either the witch's cat or the fox bat, this probably is really, really as long as you have the stamina for it in reach. Right? Like that's that would be in reach for sure. You just gotta have the the ability to hang in. Now I'm gonna get a lighter color. Come here again and kind of make sure. That's nice and highlighted and get another lighter color and I'm going to come right here and <sighs> try 
trying to make sure we've got a nice little blend going on there. I need to be able to, you know, see what's there. Just rubbing it in, blending it in, making it work. Making your way in the world today. Take everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries. Showing up a lot. Just going along here, and sometimes I'll smudge with my finger just to gent make the the um uh, neck more gentle. And I'm definitely a lot more vibrant today, and I think that's a lot about um, when I paint alone or when I work alone or design alone. I think I get in one kind of mood. <laughs> I have a theory that all art is self-portraiture. That all art is, no matter what you're painting, no matter what you're doing, is a reflection of, of you. I'm going to just add some highlights here. I don't think I want to go too much past that. I might add just a few more, you know, over here on the tail. I like that. I might come here and add just a little more on the head. Mm, I mean, wait, wait, wait. And probably have, I have to do this dry. So I'll have to dry this, then we'll come touch up the ears and put in some snow. <coughs> that will be yep. pretty good. Awesome. Give her a mute while she dries that. Look thoroughly dry, 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 dry before we get to the next layer. Thank you guys all for being in here. Just watching, reading all the chat as it's going. Really nice to see everybody. Yeah, as soon as she's done, we'll come back and see what's the next part of the horse. Foster, and I want to second that enthusiastically. Uh, Walter Foster is a book series that I grew up on. My mom uh, introduced me to, uh, because my mom was very smart and realized that, that when you paint with your kids... Uh, it's a weird space like you know you're creative and so I, I do parallel play with my kids and that's what mom did with me it was just she didn't really teach me to paint what she did is she facilitated me painting all the time and then made sure we did that socially and it had a lot of really in family positivity with a lot of compliments and encouragement and very little criticism and I gotta tell you it's an excellent recipe for turning somebody into an artist it totally worked on <laughs> me uh you know so what was I saying <laughs> I'm so tired <laughs> Then we're on to the next step of the horse. We are. We're on to the next step of the horse. I don't even bring it up my But I like her, so I love her. She will be on with us on uh, Monday. Okay. So now we have to start kind of creating some value and maybe adding a little more snow to get, get here, get our ears touched up, all that stuff. So let's rinse our brush out. And let's go ahead and get our light, light, light little highlighty color over here. Oh, my mom did a thing. You can't chat on her live shows if you're not subscribed. Oh, uh, you know. I'm just letting you all know that you're not blocked. <laughs> and, and if you need any help with any of it, you know, just reach out to John Little. He will help you. Because you might be blocked. I don't know. I don't know how yet. I don't know. My mom's live. <laughs> different group. Different group. And my mom is strict. Like, I'm on, like you know how I'm like, like, oh, it's okay. Or, oh, no, we under... My mom is very strict. Funny, but strict. Funny, but very strict. And my dad is out there in so many YouTube videos. He's in a second YouTube video on his motorcycle. Mm -hmm. he, he went out there again with those, the, the young guys out there riding in Moab and got more video. So it's just, it's just wild to see him out there. Yeah. He's having fun. I'm so glad he's having fun. Um, earlier, uh, earlier in a very scary part of the year, my dad had called me up to tell me that he had a stage four cancer and that had 
Oof, freaked me the, out. Yeah. Freaked me out. Man, and and it felt like that was uh, that was that was the end for us, and it was really sad. But it turns out that for what he had going on, they had lots and lots of good treatments, and he's really, really responded quite well. But then he also broke four of his ribs while doing downhill racing on a bike. Like, like after they just got the cancer stabilized, then boom, downhill, crashed, flighted out, and the whole thing. He's so, going to enjoy every minute. Every minute. He's like, his doctors are a nervous <laughs> wreck. They're like, what? It's like, dude, dude, but dude, I just, dude. He had some people who really helped him get get the aid he needed and i'm just really grateful to them every day they always make my my positivity thoughts because i'm so grateful and mm. and he's super duper okay and come down here and kind of sh 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 making little shadows i like a little shadow under the main i found it it just it, it's just i just enjoy it okay i think those are fair we're almost there on the ears we're yeah. so close on the ears now this little bend of the ears is a pretty good, you can kind of see the dish to the face. The build of the horse is cl clearly more of a warm-blooded horse. And that little scoopy in the ears is a good indication that we got an Arabian. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm very happy to say that uh, when my, my, my dad was told that basically the medication that would save his life was going to be $3,000 a month. Imagine hearing that after you've had money taken from you that could, you could have used to help them. Yeah, it was. But his incredible doctor, who was just an angel, mm -hmm. and the women who worked at Johnson and Johnson, and and in the system, they worked together and they got him that medication for free. And I'm grateful to Johnson and Johnson. Thank you, Johnson and Johnson, for that incredible program. That was very good. You saved my dad's life. Now. I'm not saying that he's not going to keep doing downhill racing because he is, but you made it so he could. And now he's out there with these young guys in Moa, riding his bike, being awesome, having fun. And it's just the best. And I'm very, very, very grateful. So even when things are hard, good things will come in, yeah. you know? Yep. They will totally come in and they will, they will get you through and, I'm going to add a little highlight to the lashes and right here I'm just trying to make sure that we've got these little highlights where I want his, him to pop a bit more. That's a good one right there. I like that one right there. Just playing, playing, play, 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 play. And I kind of like scoop and lightly push it there. I'm just trying to create that highlight. I'm really looking for these highlights on this baby. <laughs> yeah, he had a really good healthcare group, and mm -hmm. um, it was it was amazing. And it just reminded me that in this world, there are really good people. Yeah, really good people. And and you've gotta you gotta you know celebrate those moments when you run into really really good people and I'm grateful grateful every day. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and put the last little bits of snowiness. Are you guys ready to snow it up? I'm gonna use my filbert I think right now, and I'm gonna start going through first cool snow. So I'll come up to my blue. give you another step here. You gotta fix something though. Mm. I think we are on... Nope. Oh, there we go. 60. I am just adding a little highlight to the knees because I just want to. Right here. I'm going to try to make some energy that shows that these are pushing up snow we're running through snow so that's what we're doing here is we're just trying to make sure we've got the energy to show that we're churning up snow so i'm going through the holidays i think like everybody else like you know how you mm. unpack your year yep i've been unpacking my year hardcore 
Lots to unpack. So much to unpack in, you know, and think about. And sometimes I like to come back and, you know, make sure that everything here even feels snowy enough. Mm -hmm. Because I could always, a lot of times, go through an area like this and and re and re snow it. <laughs> mm. Get a little gray going again uh, for that background. Yeah. Uh, so we can do some more like little snow in the deadfall. Oh, yeah. I went a little more purple this time, but I like it. Yeah. I do Actually, too. I like it because it, it's more of a pop, I think, between. Mm -hmm. If if I was going to change it, what I'd probably do would be go through with a glaze of the Mars Black and uh, maybe a little Thalo Blue. But I really, really like this, so I'm kind of inclined to just let it have its moment. That'll happen sometimes. I'll be doing something I'm like, oh, I like that better. So anyways, right now my dad's in Moa. Well, he was in Moa, and he was just like riding, and there's just great video, and he's going up and down these cliffs. And I'm yeah. just thinking, you know, they just got him on his feet again, and he's back out. And these young guys, they're just, they love him so much because he, he, you know, he's he's a spiritual guy. He's a good guy. He's such a, he's such a Ted Lasso kind of good example of a human being. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, Dominique Lacoste, thank you so much. Oh. Enjoy as new. Uh, merci. Merci bien. I hope you're good. <laughs> and and so I don't know. I think that they really really like him, and he's just a good example. And he gives great weird old dude advice. Mm -hmm. He's like the king of awesome old dude advice. And I think these guys just like having him around. He remind he just shows them that there's hope for the future, and that you know, you can you can be like a a manly man, and um. Have that be a completely just relaxed expression of who you are, not some forced intense thing, but just like this is this is what we do and this is how we stand up and this is how we take care of each other because it's the right thing to do. And I don't know. I just think it's cool he's out there. Yeah. Doing that, being that influencer. Yeah, a little dark snow. Is there a tutorial on how to paint the Northern Lights in acrylic? Yes, I have one that has millions of views. Don't watch that one. <laughs> watch the other one. I have many others. I have, I have one that I show simple fan brush technique for, and then I have some where I really get deep into the technique. Um, and those are my favorite where I get deep in. But any of them will work. And there's a lot of fun ways to do it. And then another fun uh, thing is that... <laughs> You know, we're going to be having a lot more northern lights coming up because there's been a bunch of flares. And for sure, that's going to influence what I'm painting. Yep. Um, so you will be seeing them. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to throw snow. Hmm. I'm throwing snow. So it's rough because I'm trying to make him it, it be rough, you know, through uh, Trish. My dad sounds like a good man. He is a really good. Yeah, man. we like him. We are really fond of him. Very, very, very much and very grateful. Yeah, we have him in our lives. And he's just good, good people. One thing I can always count on is my dad's moral compass. Mm -hmm. My mom's too. Not to shame my mom. My mom has a very good moral compass. We're just talking about your dad right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Now, you can, and I think it's fun, you know, in include bright little bits of snow that could be Kind of going different places, like maybe there's snowflakes falling, or maybe yeah, there's, yeah. you know, 
stuff happening and you can do that. So what I would say the trick to this is if you're not going to splatter is to be random and that's what will feel like little clumps of snow. Use the random. Are you doing okay, babe? Yeah, we are all pretty much done. If that's good news, I don't know. <laughs> now, uh, I don't expect the color purple to, it's just going it, to, I think you're going to love it. It's going to be very neutral and I don't expect it to be particularly hard. I think it's going to be right in the two hoot range. So come by for that. The cow we just did is definitely one to two hoot. Super fun. And I have a closer, uh, I have a two hoot horse. And this is maybe, I think this is right with the horse. Remember this horse with the sunflowers we did? I think he's like there. Or, oh, oh, from 1883, remember lightning with the yellow hair? Mm. Um, her riding away into the mountains. That one was pretty good. So those, these all kind of, if you like this level of horse lesson, those are all at that level. Huh. If I come through here and I just very carefully lighten up some, not all, some. There we go. I think we're there, guys. Wow. How long has my dad had his own YouTube channel, I said for wood? Not <laughs> It's like a he, while, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened was I got on and I, I used to uh, use YouTube to send videos of the kids to all the grandparents. Mm -hmm. And my dad would use YouTube to share, share videos of his rides and his adventure. And then I turned my YouTube channel into the Archerpa. And there are no more grandkid <laughs> videos on here. I have to, yeah, I have to direct message the grand, the grandparents now with the, with the kid videos. And, um, right, yeah. But I think that whole time, and it's just, it's just basically, it's, it's just a uh, GoPro on my dad's head while he rides bikes or paraglides or does all the things that you should do in your mid to late 80s. <laughs> just, you know, while you've just recovered from cancer and broken ribs, that's what you should do. You should just jump off cliffs and ride down hills and, and, and go dirt biking and be awesome. I, my dad isn't going to miss a minute of it. And I'm really proud of him for it, for that, that energy. And I hope, I hope. I hope to live up to that. Yep. Hope to live up to the person that he is. Him and my mom gave me a very good example of who I should be, and I hope to live up to that. Wow, this really came together. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it so much. Now I'm going to sign this here. This is my little flipsier brush, though. Won't let me do it fast, and I have to remember that. You really only need enough of a mark so people can identify the maker, and I don't like to do ones that just detract from the whole painting, so I try to make them minimal. I'm super duper duper happy with this. Yeah, um, really Jennifer, what? I started watching your mom's channel. Uh, you come by art naturally. You both are so talented. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say I'm we were encouraged to be creative my my mom's adoptive grandmother did the sumi ink painting and she made sure that my mom had when she saw my mom had an interest in it she just made sure that my mom had everything to be creative and then my mom kind of did the same for me and and so it is third generation and on my dad's side we definitely have photographers and uh things but it's i think really it's just about that we got the encouragement when we needed it so we were determined and dogged to learn it and did and and so just know that encouragement just being told you can is probably in your journey the most important bit of information you'll take away that you can learn this and you can get better at it through practice if you persevere if you do the work if you learn the skills and you practice and you keep trying and you and you're careful with how you talk to yourself and, and you just stay in you will be able to do this and you will get better over time and I, i've had students just like shoot right past me and do like i mean wow like incredible like highly realistic oil portraiture which is not something i even do but they started from not painting a stick figure to getting there and doing shows and selling work and 
didn't have like those early indicators of like, you know how sometimes if you have an easy time with something, at first people go, you have talent. And, and then, so you're like, oh, I have talent. And so you go with it. But sometimes if you don't have that early break, then you don't know that you can do it. And so, but they didn't have that early break and they totally are a shining star now. Yeah. So, you know, just know you can do it. It's doable for everybody. Um, and if you, if, if you are going through it this holiday, if you're, if you're going through seasonal affective disorder, if you, you know, just want to come by and hang out with your friends and say hi, Monday at one, I'm going to redo the color purple. It's going to be live stream. We're going to get up with the kids and, and do the morning with them. And then, live stream with you guys in the afternoon if you john you want to shout out the um thing at the interface ministry again before we go yeah yeah if, if you uh if you're in the ann arbor area and ann arbor like, michigan yep ann arbor michigan is, and we had said that we've got a we're, we're going to be getting together at the uh let me go find the exact thing. at noon um we had uh we ended up in a weird thing somebody had once tried to uh compensate me <laughs> with art materials and um which was cool uh, we liked colored pencils and we loved the art materials we received, but then they got sold and, and in that sale, I ended up owing for all those art materials. So out of the blue, that was like this expect, unexpected, <laughs> we, and I'm had, super happy for it. Yeah, it was a, it was just, it was, one it of those, was just one of those things. So like, we ended up with a bunch of art supplies we didn't necessarily didn't, intend to have this way. Yes. And we were like, you know, what do we do about this? We don't want to try to like create weird reasons to just like very hard, put them up yeah and... it's very hard to sell them individually and things we, we came into a lot of trouble we realized this was the one of the better ways of yeah of john just comes to me and says you know i have this idea i think this would feel really good this christmas and this would help this christmas feel really good which is to to help you know maybe a kid who doesn't have as much as they could under the tree and their parents could come by and grab them and this so. is going to be at the north side Associ uh, uh, associated ministries and it's um at 1679 broadway street in ann arbor we'll be there at noon tomorrow december 24th mm -hmm. and we're we're bringing a lot we're gonna I, I i don't think anyone won't go home with some i think we're bringing I, plenty I, it of would supplies. be it would be uh, yeah. stunned i would be stunned i would be stunned and and so yeah if that's something that would help and brighten your your spirit please come by it's non-denominational you don't have to be anything like that's not at all a requirement it's just we found that that was a safe place to hold the event and that place historically has been a safe place for everyone to come so we're like oh that's a good location because people will associate that with you know friendliness and openness and safety um Jennifer Wood says, how do we settle on our signature for our art? Thanks, Cinnamon, for your encouragement. I'm a type A person, but I've been pleasantly surprised that art is so relaxing. Well, first know that being a type A person is a superpower in art, so don't ever, ever, ever worry about that. It's going to come in. It's going to help you with your inventory. It's going to help you take care of your product. It's going to help you pick up your skills. So this is a superpower, and you can totally embrace it, as is being a type B and being very creative. They both work, so it's all positive. How do you get a signature? So... Artists spend a lot of time working on their signature. I've heard so many solutions. I'll give you a few. One is getting a callig pen out, a calligraphy pen, and just signing your name a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different times. If you're reselling, I'm going to tell you right now, it's still true that a male name will sell better than a female name, which is why my mom used to sign her paintings cook. Right? Because it's, well, it just, didn't say one way or the other. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a weird thing in art that goes on. You can overcome it. You just have to be aware it's a thing. So sometimes some artists will just use their last name or something that doesn't really let people know more about them. My mom does a thing where she, she signs her name and she does a red line through it. And that's because when we were in France, every time you left a town, it would have its name and a line through it. And we were like, this town is over. <laughs> It's done. You've completed the town. And then one time when my mom was doing a painting, she did the line through it, and that became the cook signature. Um, I used to sign Cooney. Uh, before that, I signed Johnson, and then I ended up signing Sherpa. Um, I don't know, kind of organically over time. And I just use my writing. I've got friends that do beautiful, ornate symbols for their signature. My child signs a whole other name. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong. What I think it is, is like, unless you're Peter Max, if you put a big red Max that takes up like this much of the painting, then all anyone is ever going to see is the big red Max. Now, that's great if people are investing in your work and, 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 and the signature maybe even works with your work, but it can become a distraction. So what I like to say is 
whatever you do, remember it's part of the painting. I don't do dates either because that devalues work uh, when you resell. So, um, so say you did a painting 20 years ago and it has a date on it. I'm just saying I've sat and listened to a lot of collectors. I don't take it personally, but I've listened and they're all like, oh, it's old. It must not be good. Or <laughs> They'll say weird things. So I'm like, okay. So you learn not to date it. But when you're a student, sometimes you'll date because you want to see how you improve. So it's really about what you're doing there. Um, and my final weird suggestion is um, that you can go by Fiverr and they have people who will design 20 or 30 signatures for you and those can become your signature. I, I would be reluctant to do it with AI until they have more of the, I don't know, rules are, they've got to do some, they have to do so much legislation around this. And right now, if your ownership weren't clear on that, I might be a little concerned. So I might still go for Fiverr until more of that is buttoned down to use as a tool. I don't think I'm intrinsically against it as an idea. But I still think maybe Fiverr, it's, I mean, it's like, because that's really good for all budgets. And I, I've used Fiverr for a lot of things, like a lot of things. And it's it's been a good resource. So hopefully that will help. Thank you, Debbie and Ruskin. All right, guys, I so love being with you today. I hope you're being safe this holiday. Um, if I see you tomorrow, that would be great. I want you to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And I'll see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye.